So this is the sample proposal for DST. Okay, this is uh, for guidelines only. So you can see like what are the important content you have to keep it in the DST project. Okay, so the proposal project. So you can see that this is the first page. Okay, anyhow, everywhere you have to fill the investigator details. Okay, and then you can see the acknowledgement card like uh, the complete acknowledgement page. So this we'll be keeping it for every project, even if it is a UG project or a PG project, even if it is a case study we are going to submit. So for everything, we need this acknowledgement. Okay, so this acknowledgement, you have to keep it. And then uh, the endorsement from the head institution, you have to get the endorsement like uh, uh, what is the project title? Okay, and uh, you have to give the proper certifications and everything. Okay, like certification in the sense you can certify that the institute welcomes participants. That is uh, who is going to do and who is your co-investigator and who is the principal investigator and who is going to do this pro project, this, uh, this particular research completely. You have to provide this detail. Okay, so and you have to get the sign from your head of the institution. So this is also mandatory. The next page you can see that there is a certificate from the investigator. So you have to get the certificate from the investigator as well. For that you have to keep your project title. So project title should be everywhere. Got it? And what is the, what are the things which you are going to submit it? So the complete submission, everything should be there. So endorsement from the head, certificate from the investigator, details of the proposal. So here they have used a floppy. So nowadays we are not uh, working with floppy. So if you are sending a CD, so you have to use the compact disk details here. Okay. And the next one is what name and address of the experts. You have to provide the experts details. So that is given here. Okay. And then if you just come down, so your exact project starts here. Okay, this is the complete, until this, this is the complete friend page, all these things like a friend, acknowledgement, certification, certif uh, certificate and everything, you have to keep it and this is where your project title starts. Okay, so you have to tell uh, everything in the first page, like who is, who are the people who did this project and about uh, their, uh, their department and the date, okay. So, if you just scroll down, you can see that uh, format of submissions, okay. So, what are the things you have to submit like broad subject, subject area, duration, how many uh, months you took to complete this project, uh, total cost of the project, everything, okay. So, all these details are available here and about the um, uh, pro project, whoever who did this project, okay. So, the complete details should be here okay and then your project summary okay so it, it should be like 50 words this complete and then technical details your technical details starts from here introduction uh, you have to give the complete introduction for example if you are doing any uh, this pro research uh, there is a cross research we'll call it as like uh, for uh, that is a machine learning for healthcare so you have to give that is some disease you are using machine learning to predict some disease then you have to give about the complete interaction to the about the disease and also about the machine learning so but it should not be a very traditional level of uh, interaction okay you should not go in depth but you have to give the overall understanding of what these things are okay so all these things you have to tell second one is the origin of the proposal why you have what is what forces you to do this and uh, like we will call it as a problem study right uh, what is the origin of the proposal from where like from where you understand that this problem exists and you wanted to do something for this particular um, field so origin of the proposal you have to give definition of the problem what is your exact problem and what is the objective of your research okay so most probably objective should be in a points like either in a bullet points or in a numbered format and then review status so this is what the literature review they are talking about the literature review okay so this is you have to give like what is the international status in review you have like a review of research you have various uh, uh, thing okay so <coughs> <coughs> excuse me okay so in review, you have to give three uh, levels of review. One is international, okay, international review, national review. Okay, will be you have to provide an international review and national status. 
okay sometimes if it is any specific to a, a particular uh, areas then you can also give that status as well so here they have given two status one is international and national status so what is how your research will be used internationally that is how it will be used for a, a, a like wide range of researchers okay so this you have to tell and on what basis okay how you are relating with that fine and next one is national status what is your uh, research status and what is research status in the sense they are not asking what you are doing currently okay whatever you have uh, um, you have you are going to do it how that will work out for national level of uh, uh, researchers okay national level not only for the researchers how it will be useful for overall uh, our nation your nation okay so this you have to tell okay and then importance of the proposed project in the context of current status what is the current status like what is your proposed this three things you have to give in the review okay current international and national okay and the review of expertise available with the proposed <coughs> investigating group so you have to tell who are the experts which are available based on your field of interest and who will be doing all these things like uh, who can um like what is who is the experts on this particular uh, thing in your institute okay so if you have published any pattern on this or uh, so you can also include that your pattern okay whatever the pattern uh, whatever the thing which you are uh, you have done or else <coughs> uh, probably if you uh, any specific patterns which are related to this particular um, domain so you can also include that but be very specific like what pattern you are trying to include it and what are the other uh, references you have referred in order to do this project okay you have to tell about the references so here there are so many references it is not mandatory like in uh, phd we will be using nearly 150 to 200 references so that much references is not required here at least 50 references is fine uh, for this particular project okay and work plan and methodology like what your plan what are the methodologies you are going to uh, follow you are you have created the literature review okay simulation for simulation what you are going to do and for experimental setup and uh, study and comparison okay the complete thing and organization of work elements how we are going to do all these things okay like uh, what are the things which you are going to create it okay you can uh, write about it time schedule how many months because uh, uh, be sure that whatever the time you have used here that should match up the time which you have mentioned in the first uh, um, that is uh, uh, first few pages okay so uh, what you will be doing in the first 12 months okay you will be collecting the literature review everything so what you will be doing between the 13 to 24 months so what you will be doing from this okay so these things you have to tell everything because i hope you remember in the first page we have given 36 months okay so which means three years so what you are going to do every year in few in view proposal they'll be giving every month but every year is fine sorry every six months or every year is also fine okay then what is the actual let it say what is the budget you are going to utilize okay so you have to be very specific about the budget okay and then um, budget for salaries and wages because since it's a big project okay uh, so they are also going to, to uh, show about like what are the uh, salaries and wages for a uh, uh, budget if you are not if you are going to submit only your own proposal if you are a student or if you are a research scholar if you are not going to recruit anyone uh, anywhere then you can leave this okay uh, so next one is what um, justification of manpower requirement if you are going to use this then you have to justify this as well or else you don't want to do that and uh, justification of international travel if you have included international travel then you have to justify that so all these things uh, this particular link i'll be posting it in the description so you can find some information out of that justification of the proposed equipment so whatever we have discussed right what you'll be doing for the 36 months so you have to cover this literature review between this months so everything they have given in the form of a gantt chart and then uh, what is infrastructure facilities so, so this we have to give because even if you are going to do the project even if this is a, a student project then you have to give it this because you have to satisfy you have to tell the funding agency that you have all these facilities in your institution itself because you are going to do this particular 
research in your institution okay so be very specific about it and uh, the clear details about the project investigator principal investigator co-investigator so all these things you have to give it very clearly okay co-investigator detail their resume you can get the resume from them and add it okay and the details of the research project being implemented completed by the investigator who will be completing this this project and any other project whether they have you have completed already so all these things you have to give and uh, this is what the final thing so you will be uh, sending this complete format here okay so this is what the overall format for the dst government so dst if you are going to submit it for the dst funding then you you will be using this if you are going to apply as a student so you don't want anything regarding uh, manpower or something else if you are going to apply for a complete uh, research for example if you are a professor over there and you are going to uh, get the project fund and you're going to recruit someone then you have to use this complete uh, uh, complete format uh, and submit it to the DST.